okay so this is JASP uh, and this is uh, the data set so let's say for example I want to describe this 150 participants no? uh, in terms of their uh, demographic variables I want to describe them as a group of participants so I can go to descriptives no? so if I click on descriptives let's begin with uh, the more basic one no? so uh, sex age okay so if you if you notice here in this section we have a more information about age uh, we have our average age you no know, we have the standard deviation but you might be wondering why why are there no information about such you no know, for the variable sex simply because we can't compute for the average sex or the standard deviation of sex right you now because sex is a categorical uh, variable and what did we say about categorical variable what's the best way of describing them through frequency distribution so if you click on frequency tables then you would see this okay. so then you would see that you know 162 are females and 88 are males and these are their corresponding uh, percentages what about this one frequency distribution for age we no longer need this right no so you basically ignore this already because we don't want to describe age using frequency distribution ignore ignore that no not that part how do you describe age you already did here mean and standard deviation okay um, in the past when I ask my students to to run an analysis like this some of them end up describing describing age using frequency distribution simply because when they click this merong automatic na ganyang output no? so that's something that you should learn as users of so statistical software hindi lahat ng ibinibigay sa iyo or ibinabato sa iyo ng statistical software ay kakainin mo no sometimes you you have to learn you know to to determine which of the output of my software is useless to me like i don't need that no i don't need to describe age using frequency distribution my way of describing age no would be you know mean and standard deviation okay all right so by the way um if you click on statistics and if you want to see other options like if you want to see the median you can click the median and you know you ha you you automatically have information about about the median if you don't want that then uncheck that and it will disappear so you have other options here no? you want to compete for the uh, variance the mode the sum skewness kurtosis and so forth and so on you have options here as well and if I include other variables uh, for example I'm also interested in religion so if I include that so certainly religion is also a categorical variable so you won't see any information here but if you go to the frequency distribution then you can see that 82% are Catholics and 18% are non-Catholics if I want to add educational level then another table would appear uh, and that table will tell you that 54% uh, are college and 46% are in high school so for sex religion educational level because these are categorical variables then you can use you know frequency and percentage to describe that you no know. but for age which is clearly a you know continuous variable then you, you ignore this you don't need this what you need to describe age would be your mean and standard deviation okay all right. Uh